Hello and welcome back to Frostpunk 2. So the last episode we managed to get through the prologue, we managed to save everybody without killing any of the seals or uh, any of our old people, so that's always nice. And now we're back to old, good old New London. Now we've got to see if we can bring it back from the depth that the captain has left it in, uh, who I guess is probably the old guy in the wheelchair that we saw last episode. So. The Overcrowded City is low on resources. Use this warmer year to build more shelter. Secure your coal and power the generator back on. Okay, let's get to work. Let's go. All right, let's pause. Let's have a little look. So, what we got? We're struggling on housing. We're struggling on food, although we've got a decent amount of stockpile. What's that? 35,000? Should last 55 weeks. Okay, good. So that's going to last us a good long time. We have got some fertile soil over here that we can use if we want to, as well as some longer lasting stuff. Uh, over here as well now what do we want to do we want to try and get ourselves some coal if we can so this is some frozen forest where about can we get some coal here we are there's just a little bit of coal out along this way in this little kind of coal field here so let us go and dig that out we can start in here and then we'll expand over into that larger coal area when we get a second now, our housing is a little bit bad, but fortunately, we've got this little crevasse here that we can kind of come into where we can say, right, we're going to put it in here, sheltered from the wind, so we can get some nice amounts of housing in there. That should at least do us a little bit. We've got plenty of prefabs, which is nice as well. We're going to need them to just build these up. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to be wanting to build up our districts where we can. We've got 4,200 people, so let's build ourselves a little food district over here. Like so, we can farm that on out. Do we want to break the ice over here to this fertile soil? Hmm. There is always the potential for that, I suppose. There's also this fertile stuff over here as well, but I think we're all right with one just for just now. Probably what we more want to concentrate on is getting out towards these waypoints. It doesn't look like that coal is going to last particularly long, so we're going to want to find another source of fuel if we can. All right, I think that's us good to go. Let's go. Let's see what do we have. We have Research Institute. We should probably get one of them as soon as we get our housing done. Do we have a council? We do not. We could build a council right away so we can start passing laws. I think we will. Might as well. We've got the money. We've got the prefab panels. Money is probably going to be the slowest thing for us to get, but we can hopefully get around that. When it comes to extraction, we've got a couple of bits over here that we could uh, dig out. And probably actually we will, might as well, we might as well just try and dig out as much as we can as early as we can. This can be a good starting area and we can build a small extraction area over here by these ruins, like so. And that can do us for a little bit of prefabs in the early game until we need other things. So for our heat stamps, yeah, we're doing all right. We can always just ask people for things. Our big fears are running out of coal which we don't have a stockpile of just now, because we, so we have absolutely no fuel. Not ideal, but we've managed to uh, come over here. We've got some more coal down here as well. So our stockpile is a little bit bigger than I was maybe initially giving it credit for, but we can just get a small extraction site coming in here first. Let's just get that done. Yep, perfect. Okay. So yeah, we will build this up. There we go. And immediately let's start breaking through and grab the rest of this coal where we can. Perfect. Unfortunately, there's nowhere over here that we can uh, go to uh, get out, but we can think about it later on. First council session. Anticipation fills the air as the council opens. The captain ruled with a firm hand for years, but those times died with him. Now the community of the city want their say. The faith keepers are the only organized faction and have a strong opinion on everything. They are devoted to what they claim was the late captain's vision, a godly society built on progress, equality, and tradition. The New Londoners and Frostlanders clash over our survival strategy though neither has a firm stance in economic or social issues. Then there are those who view the Faith Keepers with contempt for their role in New London's history, but they kept the shadows, for now. Based on your handling of the coal crisis, the first decision of whether or not you should maintain your role as steward. Okay, let's open the session. So, interesting, because of the kind of story, we now need to make sure that we're not going to get kicked out from being steward as part of our first thing the council. Probably good that we actually built this as early as we did in that case. When you return to the council in the future, we'll propose new laws to vote upon, but for now a special vote needs to happen. The communities of New London have to accept you as their leader. Be careful. If you fail, this will be the end of your rule. I see. Okay, so we need to make sure that we've got this. I have got Twitch stuff turned on because I thought it was cool, but maybe I should turn it off. Never mind. 
let's go to so the new londoners or the frostlanders uh we've only got 22 four let's have a little look at the frostlanders what do they want Excab expedition support uh they want to condemn the faith keepers or want us to condemn them or get forged additives okay or foraged additives sorry yeah citizens provide some food i kind of like that yes except so we now have enough people to support us fantastic let's vote on it if we can uh, get away with uh, not giving too many favors out that's probably better in the long run oh look at that barely needed to do that anyway people love us they of course want us to be in charge even though you know the heating's off <laughs> who's touched the thermostat that's what i want to know all right okay so we've managed to break our way towards here we've also broken our way towards there very very nice we don't have that much food or not food sorry we don't have much much money left but we can get a decent amount of extraction over here we can even potentially build a goods thing later on but more importantly we need to get all this coal out and use it up where we can and with the uh, the promise that we've done we're gonna have to do that soon because people are getting a little bit tense which is probably because everybody's very very cold because the generator isn't on it's still minus 20 out even though minus 20 is probably the best it's been in a very very long time all right there we go so we've got our housing districts out we probably immediately want to start expanding them out oh, we haven't got enough tiles over here what about over here now we need to do a little bit a little bit of frost breaking i think if we want to expand them out and we will want to expand them out because we do want to get these research institutes down probably want to do more over here just so it's a little bit further away from these uh, resources over here and we'll just kind of expand out over there all right shouldn't take us too long to get this extraction site done good 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 and let's build another one which at least we'll be able to share a little bit of heat we'll build that out over here we could expand that extraction district but i think we might as well just build a new one our money's looking a little bit low we can always ask for a loan from somebody the faith keepers don't actually have that big of a size it's quite interesting uh so margin increased by minor disease so people are getting diseased because they're getting cold but any second now we should be able to open up this area here and that'll be good so we've got our coal sorted double coal we've got our food district here it's giving us a little bit of food we are still a slight uh, deficit that was the word i couldn't think of last time but we managed to find it so that's good uh, let's make sure that we actually turn that generator on scraping the barrel good work steward we've secured a new coal deposit it's part of the last vein in new london there's still some deposits left but they won't last for long We'll need to improve our minds use it efficiently, but the city's communities are voicing different ideas on how to do it. We need to decide whose ideas are worth pursuing. We must choose a solution. I see. So yes, we need to build ourselves a research station. So there we go. Let's get them in there. Perfect. Expand that on out. Do need a little bit of money, but that's fine. Let's... <laughs> Fair enough, there you go. Yes, we do appreciate everybody's boring letters. Thank you very much. So we're going to turn on the uh, the overdrive for the generator just now, just purely because we want to try and get rid of a lot of this heat as much as we can. It's stable at the moment. We are still a little bit scarce in terms of our shelters, but never mind. Okay, we need 100 heat stamps. Ooh, that's quite a lot. Frostlanders, you like us, right? Yes, give us some money. Excellent, thank you very much. We will build that as soon as this finishes expanding and get that done. More funds? Yes, more funds. Thank you very much. Let's use some of these funds to expand further out towards this waypoint over here so we can try and get a logistics depot up soon so we can start exploring a little bit just while we're busy doing other things. Yep, so we've expanded that housing district. Let's get this research thing down. We could also expand our way out here a little bit if we want to. This housing district probably needs a little bit more space as well. So yeah, let's just expand on out over this way a little bit. And we can always expand that out so it's not quite touching us extraction district. That is getting us our juicy juicy coal. Speaking of coal, we've got a pretty good stockpile. We are starting to stockpile coal, which is always nice. And in terms of workers, we're not doing too bad. So that is always good. Uh, how much have we need for the logistics? Logistics 400 and then 200 for the housing. Perfect. Although we're probably... Do we want to expand out or do we want to get a new housing district? It might be good to get a new housing district, actually. 
The generator wakes, a child is born. People gather around the generator tower as it wakes with a thundering shudder bestows heat upon us yet again. This is the heart of our city, our last line of defense against the cold, our first hope for the future, any future. Steward, there's a couple who say it's their first child, a daughter, who was born at the exact moment the generator sprang to life again. They called her Lily May. They asked that you bless her. You gave us hope back. Thanks to you, our child may yet have a future ahead of her. People are hopeful, and there's a future for all of them after all. Very well, Lily May. May your life be warm, and winds spare your paths. And hopefully we don't all die. That would always be nice. Yeah, we'll expand on out this housing sector over here, and then we can do from there as we need to. Let's get ourselves a little logistics depot up over here. Perfect, there we go. We can use that to start exploring the Frostland a little bit. All right, so Research Institute has been constructed. Fantastic. Let's have a little look at what this says. Different ideas, community of New London. A small crowd gathers outside the new Research Institute, arguing how we best exploit the last coal veins. The Faith Keepers and New Londoners want to lean on machine-powered mining, but the Frostlands will pursue a more frugal option. They would never displace a discord on the captain's rule. You will have to choose who to entrust with developing their idea. They have different perspectives. You will not be able to please everybody. Yes, let's have a little look at the idea tree and with new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue. They will only pursue solutions that align with their worldview. Choosing a community to develop an idea will improve your relationship with that community. I see. So, this coal mine. What do we have? We've got dust coal mines. It slightly increases disease. Not great. Has a bit of a material demand. But this one has a lower workforce requirement. Gives us more coal. Increases squalor. Hmm... But, and it does require more materials. We already have materials there. I'm a little bit more concerned about the disease. Yeah, I think we go for the blasting coal mine. What's the other one? Yeah, they're blasting as well. Let's do it. Take them 12 weeks. Get it done. How's the generator looking? Overdrive is on. Let's turn that off. We don't need that anymore. Thank you very much. Does mean that we're using up a little bit more coal. But no matter. We've got a little bit of a stockpile together, so... And we haven't even built any extra things either. Alright, so we've expanded out here. Let's get our housing district up here. Very nice. We don't have the money for frost breaking unless somebody wants to give us a very lovely donation. Yes, let's raise some more funds. Perfect. There we are. Our prefabs are still going strong. You know, we need this, this money to continue to expand out everything. So let's build this here at the housing district and we'll just expand it on out here. Perfect. And this can always expand out the other way if we need to. This extraction district won't last very long. This is just here for the prefabs, after all. After that, we can probably think about some goods, though we will need some extra workers, because we're running a little bit low on that. Okay, our council is done. So we did agree that we get forged additives. Where citizens provide some food. Yes, I think we propose that. Let's do some negotiation. The new Londoners will negotiate what will they do it for so machine centric shifts that increases squalor we could get a mechanical factory hmm mechanized sawmill for more materials i kind of like the idea that workforce requirements has decreased because we are struggling a little bit with people yet so let's agree to do that perfect all right vote away please and just like that, not even a contest. 77-4, the law is passed, I see. Excellent. The Frostland is delighted you kept your word, and now look upon your rule more positively and consider your leader with integrity. Relations with the Frostland has improved, trust rises, I see. Excellent. That's good, even though we uh, made sure to take their money, they are at least a little bit happy with us. So, you know, I'll take what I can, what I can get. But more food area over here that we could use. Uh, can, can it quite? No, it can't quite reach over there, so there's not really much point expanding out there right now. At least, at least until we expand these things out. There's a little bit more of a coal area over here, but we could always just expand out this extraction. Ah, okay. We haven't quite actually dug those out yet. Never, never mind. Yes, construct that coal mine once we have researched it so what do we else do we have we've got a shallow iron vein for a whole bunch of materials we've obviously got all all this farmland kind of like around our area here with some more prefab panels from these ruins up here and what looks to be an area that is exposed to wind interesting 
and over here stable crevasse so this gives us shelter and additional heat so it'd be good to build some more things over there as well machine centric ships who would ever agree to that you will when i say so all right let's speed on ahead a little bit we've got plenty of stuff that we can do there we go logistics district built so we can now survey the lands around us let's have a little look what have we found makeshift shelters overpopulation dwindling fuel reserve for many regiments of new london to take refuge in temporary shelters built around a small hot springs hands wait for conditions to improve enough to come back yes come back now please thank you very much we need more workers uh what's up here frozen bay over 30 years ago the imperial exploration company landed here to build the region's generators a few hastily dismantled piers still sick out the ice a faded reminder of the short-lived purpose i see yeah let's launch them out i wonder if that was us in uh the last on. Well, it certainly wasn't me. We did manage to build the generator. We should know there's enough people buried in the foundations that we definitely got it finished. Okay, so we've got our logistics thing done. That's good. How are we doing for our food stockpile? It's looking okay-ish. I'm more worried about housing, to be honest. But that should be fine after... I was going to say it's going to be fine after we get this housing district done, but it doesn't look like it. So let's actually just expand this one out just a little bit more. Perfect. There we go. We've got some empty building slots as well. We could get another research institute. Ah, I guess the problem with the housing is because we brought those people in, of course. I see. Yeah, we could uh, get another research place just to speed this up slightly. I don't think that's a bad idea. Let's just do it. Doesn't mean we're... Going into our workers, just a small amount, but never mind. We don't have enough for anything else. Can we increase our logistics hub? Indeed we can, although it'll be kind of stretching out of the way. I don't think that's the worst idea. Let's just do that for now. Probably not the most efficient way of doing it, but uh, it will work, I'm sure. Let's do that. We can expand this out a little bit here. Building of the research place. Can we expand out this any further? We can to make this even more dense. I'm not unsure that's a bad idea, so we'll just do that as well. Make sure we've got definitely got enough housing. Worst comes to worst, we can ask the Faith Keepers for just a little bit of a loan. Which hopefully will not be required, but we'll just have to see how things go. Okay, coal is taking a hit. We are not making enough coal, but our research is going with three weeks left on it. Uh, so heat is taking a little bit. There we go. Cold is growing. Let's maybe put the generator back on overdrive. There we go. That manages to get rid of the cold. Yeah, it's diminishing. The scarcity of shelter also isn't helping, but never mind. There we go. Bring to the generator. Such a relief to have you back on. A holy generator, provider of, and sustainer. Our heart, our, our light, our shining beacon. Hear our prayer. Make us instruments of your light that we might fill the hearts of our flock with your radiance and forever fight against the cold of the frost. May you forever warm our path. The generator is revered and beloved by the faith keepers. Yep. Hopefully they're not still uh, burning people alive on it. That would always be good. Where's our Where's our walk of penance? That's what I want to know. That's the most important thing. Right, we managed to get a couple more people to have a little look. So let's have a little look out in these frost hills here. We need to find ourselves a new supply of coal. Unsure, because the these ones... Consult your local scout office. Okay. Yeah, I think we should be okay for the moment. Do we want to further expand this a little bit? We could. But we'll just have to see. Potentially even building another shelter area could be better. There's a little crevasse over here. Could we expand our way out over here? Indeed we can, so let's do that of have our housing being a little bit more sprawling than before blasting coal mine hey there we go can we afford it we cannot hey mr faith keepers we haven't asked for you yet let's get a little bit more funds shall we we'll not bother with research for just now we need that blasting coal mine so let's get it put down okay greatly greatly fearing running out of coal don't worry we're not we're actually got a great stockpile of coal, kind of. So that's what we'll be sticking with. We could get some housing insulation by getting asbestos. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, it's certainly our way to make them more efficient. Base heat demand of housing districts has decreased. I don't think this is a bad idea. Everybody kind of likes it as well, so hopefully they'll be happier with me. 
it should mean that we require less coal because we don't need as much heat. So I think that's probably a good idea to do. Especially seeing as we don't have any other way of getting uh, coal until we find more out. What's down here? These highlands are dangerous. Okay, we'll not go that way. This gorge is also dangerous. So I guess we're going to be heading up north and seeing what is down there. I gotta say, I do actually really quite like this Frostland map. It does look very, very pretty. Even though it's mostly white, I do quite like how the terrain just kind of like pops out of you a little bit as you're going around. And the transition from that to the uh, city map is much better than it was in Frostpunk 1, at least in my mind. Fuel for the future. The lack of common rules among our people can lead to trouble, but as the council debates the future of the city, all I'm concerned about the day our last coal deposits run out. We must explore the Frostland for more sources of fuel, or else the city will have no future at all. We must find more fuel. I agree. So, council. Law proposal. What could we propose? So, we can't do any scout training. We'd get some good laws. I don't see the reason for that. Cities. Basic necessities. Community service. Oh, interesting. So, we could get uh, either... I do like the idea of getting paid essentials, where we get more money and we get higher production efficiency. Let's do that. Okay. Who can we negotiate? Won't negotiate how they have an act of promise. Won't negotiate against their worldview. Okay. Uh, Frostlanders. You, can you vote for? And we'll let you have an agenda. There we go. Okay. Let's see how we do. Alright. Voting for paid essentials. A434. Hey, there we go. Perfect. So that's done it. So if we give them an agenda, we'll be fine. I see. Okay, so we need to research machine-centric shifts, which we are not doing just now. We're doing asbestos, so we'll do that afterwards. That's fine. So we're going to grant the Frostlanders. Grant their agenda. Yep, there we go. Increases our trust. Everybody's happy with us. And they can do our next law. That's fine. Alrighty, things are going A-OK -okay as far as I'm concerned, although we could do with more housing is the only thing. So if we build these new houses over here, and we kind of just snake them down over towards this crevasse, I think. Because we desperately need more houses. And would you look at that? Our coal situation is looking so much better. All right, let's turn off that overdrive. Ah, oh, it does look cool, doesn't it? The old city. Look at that lovely generator. My cities do not look nearly as nice as that, so... <laughs> Good job with New London, guys. I wonder how this is going to work with the uh, the Outpost DLC, the last one that they did. Wasn't really probably my favourite one out of all the DLCs, I must be said, but uh, I think Last Autumn is probably my favourite one from Frostbank 1. But who knows, who knows. Alright, let's speed things up a little bit just until something happens. Yep, people are registering sick. We don't have any heat stamps at the moment, so we can barely pay for anything. There we go, asbestos lining. A perfect. All right, let's get ourselves some resources. So we agreed for the worker shift to do machine-centric shifts, which most people are quite happy with. Yep. So let's research that, please, and thank you. In terms of shelter, we have more shelter than we did before, at the very least, so that's always good. nice to see that people are quite happy what can we do for hubs we could build a uh, material stockpile to try and get these extraction places a little bit happier let's uh, potentially frost break a little bit around here so we frost broken both those coal seams we could probably just kind of snake around here expand that out just a little bit that'll look good we still doing okay for workers it's mostly just our heat stamps that we're needing how, how long till we can take out another loan guys hey you like us right Come on. Okay, a vote on expedition support will be held soon. Let's have a little look. So, uh, exploration time slightly decreased. I do like that. We can't negotiate. We have too many promises, so let's have a little vote. See what people say. I hope this one passes, because it would be quite nice. 32-4. Doesn't look very... Uh, no, not quite. Slightly too much. Or slightly too many people against, I should say. It's a shame, we kind of lost our vote, but that was the one that we promised the Frostlanders anyway, so, you know, it's not the worst thing that can happen. We don't have anywhere near enough heat stamps. Oh, well, we're pretty close, actually. So we could potentially get the uh, material stockpile. 
this would yeah minus 10 percent workforce requirement for both of them and give us more of a stockpile i don't think that's bad could we also do the same yes yeah let's instead get a fuel stockpile i think coal is going to be more important to us what are these guys saying looking for trouble cindy's power went and got our governess like she's going to be a duchess or something not on our wash we rushed up a little be all right ferguson boys learn this too if they try and wife us again tonight we'll raise them and save a car out of their eyes it'll be fun what we want is a proper rumble short blades only come on who wants to play damn kids getting to razor fights again they hate it when that happens okay the others in a caravan found near the bay we found a disturbing sight bodies and a sturdy frosting gear neatly laid side by side and left to freeze with black oil markings all over their closed eyes a ghastly burial ritual a map we found says they are heading to an old machine somewhere by the desolate coast the machine will require a source of fuel i think we should investigate okay interesting so they went that way fishing village a community of frostlanders are eating out a pitiful existence living off moss and small fish with no furs they sleep by they survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder under thick layers of fur yeah let's bring them back perfect now the frost has departed we can use a fishing village to provide fish for new london fantastic yeah let's harvest that up there's an old observatory as well so we need to have a new and stable so we can come back later for these guys yeah let's come back later so we can get the full amount rusted engine interesting uh it suggests the dreadnought traveled the frozen bay a long time ago uh the secondary engine of the dreadnought under its hull we found a core yes come back later excellent an abandoned coal mine possible settlement okay a mine complex inhabited by children a long time ago over the years they grew old and became citizens of new london the last miners were ordered home by the captain but we know some coal remains in the shafts they approached trails in poor condition we found a warehouse with prefabs the captain intended to use to improve it take them or leave them in place if we want to use the mine again yeah i think we keep the prefabs there we're doing okay and we could connect this up yeah that could be good that gives us another coal source so yeah let's do that so uh, we're going to need a lot more heat stamps in order to do that i'm thinking so how much do we need in order to search the desolate coast not that much so let's let's launch that expedition and when they're done we can always build up our uh, fuel source get the guys off uh, leading back the people and giving us some extra food to uh, help us out in other ways crime is not doing good greatly increased by good scarcity good goods to know uh yeah we don't have any money will anybody give us money anyone no we've done that too recently what about the frostlanders nope baykeepers no colder season not ideal so cold's coming that's going to increase our coal usage but we're still got a little bit of a surplus which is nice when one door closes, the first crack steward, the faith keepers have begun their monthly processions, visiting each door in the city as a symbol of the captain's presence alive in every home. However, a select group of frostlanders refuse to leave their doors open. We aren't getting in their way, we just don't want strangers barging into our homes. We're all if one flock united under his wing, urge peace. How can we be united if one steps away? What should we do? Uh, do we just not interfere? Uh yeah let's just not interfere they kind of do what you want we're not going to choose a side probably the worst kind of action but uh you know what i don't care we're pretty well regarded we're accepted and we managed to meet the new londoners demands fantastic so their trust with us rises will you, will you give us money yet please thank you that's really all we're looking for because we're going to need a little bit of money in order to get that done so we'll keep those frostlanders going there we should maybe actually just Come and grab those cores now. We get a second. No point leaving them out there in the snow. We've got use of them. Alright, well our coal seems to be doing okay. We have more just our shelter or our lack of shelter is a little bit more concerning. So what could we do to improve it? We could build up near these houses here and get some more housing. I think we're going to have to do it. Yep very expansive the city i mean there's twelve thousand people living here so it's not too bad we've got a pretty high amount of workforce if we had more money i would really like to get an industrial district up so we can start to produce our own goods as well to get a little bit more extra money as well but we'll just have to see what happens there so all right we've managed to grab the cores good stuff let's wait until we get some more money how are we doing over here 
still going on. Yeah, another 15 weeks. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of time. I think we build the goods first. We're doing... Ah, but we're not even doing that great for materials. We need more materials. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We could get another extract post. And kind of come out here to all of these frozen forests to just make sure that we break through and collect them. We're doing okay for food. We've got plenty of prefab panels. And we're doing... Not great for coal, but certainly not bad. Yeah, I think we maybe just say, hey, let's go and bust down these bits over here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. There we go. And we can build up an extraction bit there, just because we do not want to run out of materials, because materials are being used by our uh, coal mine and our other extraction districts. So... We don't run out of that, otherwise we run out of coal. And that's probably more important than building up that thing. That coal mine is going to last us a little bit longer. So I don't think we have to worry. Remember, How's the generator doing? Did we leave it in an overdrive? No, we did not. It might just save your life. Yep, keep your heat lamps maintained. Good stuff. Alright, let's start extracting. So, got a lot of frozen forest here. So we're going to build this on up. Like so. Excellent. Is right next to a housing district. Not sure how I feel about that. But we'll just have to see. We've got another housing district done as well. What's happening in the council? It's not quite done yet. Let's... Uh, we can't even spend any of our heat stamps, so let's speed up the time. So what we've got here, worker shift, machine-centric shifts. So let's see what we can negotiate. Partially open to negotiate with the Frostlanders. I mean, we've already got enough people for, so we don't actually need to. The law support. Yeah, let's vote. Let's do it. Machine-centric shifts. Let's get it done, shall we? And they should reduce the workforce requirement. Perfect. Love to see it. So, can we get any more money? That's, this is gonna, I think this is going to keep happening. We're just going to want money from people constantly. No. It's not happening, unfortunately. What's happening over here? Feral children. Crime is slightly increased. Yes, let's make sure we promise to... Uh, yeah, five children died of the rumble. This is kind of similar to the events that were happening before in the uh, the demo, but basically our kids are feral, and they want to just beat each other up. So, yeah, not ideal. Let's have a little thing. What do we want to do with our hot houses? We could get a bio-waste hot house to increase stuff there. Heating we're doing okay at. I think it's something to do with the fact that we've managed to get the housing insulation. Housing block. We can get subsidized housing block that costs us heat stamps. Mm. Uh, but how much shelter? It does give us 20 shelter. I think I actually prefer the housing block. Yeah. Designed to provide shelter to a large number of citizens in a limited amount of space. Could be an idea what to do work compensation nobody else has this idea yet so let's get the housing block we'll just get the shelter and we'll try and get that out when we can speaking of that so we've got our extraction going so this should hopefully give us enough materials it doesn't quite give us a full amount of materials that is a little bit worrying we don't have the heat stamps to expand out either i'm really struggling with these heat stamps it must be said crime is a problem in new london as it continues to worsen scarcity goods may drive people to acts of crime when they don't see other ways to obtain necessities making goods available helps ensure people don't revert to free for all if they do worse towers and prisons might become unnecessary it's also worth examining if laws are helping us fight crime it may be more difficult to ensure order as population rises if crime runs rampant, people might get injured, killed, and tensions will grow, and radicals among us will grow in popularity. Best to make sure it doesn't come to this. I see. Okay, yeah, tension is rising because of crime. Yeah, crime is becoming fairly noticeable. Alright, so what can we do about that? We can build more goods. We can... In order to get goods, we need more materials. So we're just going to come in here is near the housing district. The housing district isn't going to enjoy that, but it's okay because we're going to get some additional places to mine. What's happening over here? The council, but anything actually changed for years, the faith keepers have just had their way, but if there's a chance to block some of their idiotic ideas, we show the city reason. Convince them to adapt to the frost, to embrace this new ice age and tear ourselves away from our addiction to the generator. Speak the others tonight. That there's those who disagree with faith keepers' views, gather and discuss how they can change the city. I see. Heretics. Now, 
Evolvers, a new faction. So Frostlanders have split. The Evolvers prize cold rationality, personal achievement, adaption to the frost by any means necessary. They dislike our blasting coal mine and our machine-centric shifts, I see. So, the adaption that Whiteout use approved, we can't rely on machines, we must improve until we either strength survive anything. Merit, coddling fa failure, breeds weakness, we instead reward accomplishment and reason. Okay, cool. I see. Alright, well that's another faction, you know what that faction means? Hey, he, do you want to give us some money? Fantastic, thank you. Speaking of giving us money, is anybody else able to give us some money? No, not yet. Because we desperately need as many heat stamps as we can get. Let us... Ah, we could build this industrial place as well. I mean, putting in any of these extraction districts is probably not the worst thing. It will save on heat just ever so much. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that, and we can get out to making goods. We still have plenty of prefab panels that we can use. Good stuff. How are we doing out here in the Frostlands? Not too bad. Nearly finished with the Desolate Coast. We've got a little bit of people here just now. That's all right. Yep, so we've finally got a surplus of those stuff there. How is our... Okay, so our prefab panels are actually running out, but we can always build another goods factory or industrial district over here if we want to. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Things looking pretty good. Let's uh, go and expand this out, because now we've been given the, the money to do so. We can build another goods place there. One to build prefabs, and one to build us some goods. Ah, perfect. So we've come over here. So we found a mangled cart. Among debris in a mangled cart, we found an old navigation log. We can't wander forever. We can only get through this canyon. Then we can set up a permanent base next to the oil. We have a large number of three cores. Yes, we will take that without a moment's thought. There's an oil cistern. A tanker where hangs out with oil. A narrow capacity with dangerous extract that is specialized. Okay. What's this? Old dreadnought. A ruined machine lies across a crevasse. Wagons spilled in the nearby snow. There are clear signs that people have come and gone from the site, even storing goods here. But what amazed our scouts is the most huge quantity of readily available oil. This could be the fuel source we're searching for. We found oil. Yes, excellent. Fantastic. Oh, this, well, this this looks familiar somehow. What are the seals are doing? Oil tombs. On the broken shore lies an oil lies an old derelict dreadnought. It seems to have been upgraded to run on oil as it rests beside rich deposits. Perhaps the site was a refueling station. But deep in the black pools lie rows of frozen bodies, wrapped in shrouds and placed in the still wells. Our scouts shout at the site. These oil deposits would surely solve our fuel needs, but we would have to desecrate the graves to access all of them. What should our teams do? Yeah, we're going to get rid of the bodies. It's, fi it's fine. We'll, uh, yeah. We'll chuck them out. Oil will save the city, but we need to adapt our generator to use it. In the meantime, we need to establish a reliable supply. It's time we set up beyond New London. Create a colony at the old dreadnought and connect to the solid trail to New London. Only then can the supply be assured. This will save the city. Alright, good job, lads. <laughs> well done. We could uh, connect up this coal area as well, if we connect up the trails. Let's see, we could connect that up there. Just don't quite have quite enough money is the unfortunate thing. Hmm. Annoying. Oh, there's these bits over here as well. No point in grabbing that because we don't know how to use it, as they say themselves. Is there any other flat land that we can go to? The approach? Yeah, let's go over there. While our guys are getting the cores back, while we're waiting for some more funds, we can always do that. Uh, the council is here. Let us do something for these kids. So, we could get mandatory schools. Or family apprenticeship. I like the idea of having extra workers and there's more people already there. Good, so we need to do less negotiations. The new Londoners will probably bring us over the edge, so let's do them. Who could we, what we could do for this? We'll get... <laughs> this does give us heat dispatchers. That's pretty good. We're increasing our heat demand, so we're burning less stuff. I like the idea of getting more goods. Yes, let's get that. Law supported as well. Let's vote away, please. 
Our family apprenticeships I should get them off the streets and stop causing all of this bother. They can start to learn. There we are, 75-4. I see. Trust rises as well. Excellent. We could hold evening prayers. Yes, let's do that. That's going to increase the amount of trust that we have. Alright, favors. Can anybody give us money? They really can. Fantastic. We're going to be asking for a lot of money. Crime should be diminishing. It's good. It's good. very good because it was severe. A housing block. So we have got a housing block. Perhaps we want to actually go ahead and research uh, some watchtowers as well. Just so we can try and get rid of the crime a little bit. So what we've got here? Liberated youth. Okay. Uh, dutiful youth. Nobody else has a opinion on that so surveillance watchtowers patrol watchtowers or just watchtowers hmm i like the idea that these do require more things but they don't require any heat which is also nice yes let's do that let's start patrolling our ways around our places because we do need to desperately get that crime down speaking of a crime it's crime how much coal we're burning not ideal all right people are going out Good stuff, mean. Let them go. Scouts are going over there. Cool that they're actually kind of using vehicles rather than just uh, plowing their way through, per guys. Cutthroat economy paid essential steward. Now that we're charging for essentials, some unemployed families aren't able to afford the basic necessities. Work was the worthiest. If these people were passed up, it's their own damn fault. They should be put to work instead of expecting the city to solve their problems in one evolver's delegate. Others are more measured, saying we can provide them with a weekly allowance we can't offer them work, we can give them a budget, and up to them to use it wisely. Hmm. Nah, let them play. I need the money. We'll let you fend for yourself. I'm sure you'll be fine. You know, eat, uh, eat someone's cat or something. I suppose we probably don't actually have pets anymore. They've probably all been eaten, all right. Okay, so we've managed to build up this. This is building prefabs. Let's change it to start building some goods. And that should hopefully increase the amount of heat stamps that we're getting per week. I'm a little bit concerned with how much we are using in terms of our coal. We definitely don't have enough. It's cost us around about 100 heat stamps to build that. 127 murdered by violent criminals. God. What have you done? What have I unleashed upon the world? All right, let's build this here. We'll build that there. Perfect. All right. So you guys can go build that uh, railway. Good stuff. And we can actually... Oh, we don't have enough Frostland teams. We have some cores I'm looking at. My bad. Okay, so we've got an issue with squalor. We've got a very big issue with crime. We've got a minor issue with cold. And a minor issue with disease. Not ideal. Yes, do not shield your apprentice. They need to actually do some some work, for goodness sake. Alright. Guard squads, good. Alright, let's get these guys out. You guys can just start patrolling, please. We need to uh, get things sorted out. Alright, our coal's going a little bit better as well. That's good. We're actually stockpiling it a little bit. Ah, that's because we actually managed to get this coal mine up and running. Fantastic. Okay. Can we connect up to this path here? So this is no, it's going to take us a long time in terms of teams. So that is a no. We'll probably also want to, uh, if we go to eating, uh, we need to get oil in order to upgrade our generator, as they said. What's happening in the council? We've got a new law, and we do we did promise we'd get survival one done for mass-produced goods. Yes, let's vote for that. We don't need to give anything to anybody. Everybody already supports it, so let's vote for it. Oh, it's very useful, the uh, the Frostlanders splitting apart, because it means that uh, we see more people seem to be favouring the, uh, the Faith Keepers and the New Londoners, I see. Excellent. Trust rises. Faith Keepers are very happy with us. How are you happy enough to uh, give us money? What about the New Londoners? Oh, you, oh, okay. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. People are not happy with the fact to go all that money. What about you guys? Hey. All right, now we're in the money. 
now we can start to expand as we wanted what's happening now over here looking for a culprit little joey's been coughing all night his forehead's all generators and turners they got the new flu here they're strolling about the neighborhood carrying on with the business killing people that's what they're doing oh please lord almighty i can't listen to another child someone's got to get through them lack of opera regulating con contagion prevention causing tension to rise throughout the city i see okay well we've got to go and deal with that in a second right more importantly let us expand out this extraction to cover out these coal bits here good stuff good stuff where else are we getting a lot of materials we're getting some over here which we could yeah let's kind of expand out here as well we have the money to start frivolously spending it so we might as well yes i reckon so we could also get some more wayfinders so we can do more stuff out on the uh field but i think we actually just get another one of these industrial districts if we can yeah perfect that looks good how are we doing for hubs let's get ourselves a material stockpile that will reduce the workforce required for these guys here it's stuff but we do also need to get ourselves some more goods can we get a research to help with that that could potentially be helpful as well let's have a look at our resources we could get sawmills yeah that will definitely help do we want untreated or mechanized squalor or disease hmm i think we're going to go with the mechanized one we kind of want to get more out sooner rather than later speaking of that we probably want to build this housing block somewhere where it's best we'd probably put it here by our food stockpile yes let's do that and speaking of food we do actually desperately need more food uh all right let's rake our way towards this other soil and we can build a little bit of a food area over here how are we doing out here boys hopefully everybody's doing well yep we've got our guys by the mine outpost they're working away we do not have enough people here that's because we've got them over the approach we and we don't have anybody at the fishing village to help us out can we expand out this logistics area we cannot unfortunately and there's nothing we can really build in it in terms of logistics we'd have to get more research in order to that okay good to remember good to remember uh, not to worry because we've got the coal that we need we've got a decent amount of goods but we are running out of materials which is not very good yes cool so let's get ourselves another extraction district so we can go one two do, do, do. there we go good enough that should hopefully keep us going we've got sawmill up as well we don't actually have that many people here either but we've nearly grown our population 97 percent. so i think we're okay building things up there we go population has increased city grows population grows steward a new count has revealed significant growth in our population in recent weeks some attribute this to the rise to an influx of settlers from the frostland others to birth outnumbering deaths i see excellent what that means is there's more people to work and i like people working so let's get them going get them to keep making some goods so we can make sure that we've got nearly enough goods that should get rid of the crime completely in fact it has cold is growing just due to an increased need in housing so maybe we should potentially think about getting another housing district somewhere uh, can we expand this one out indeed we can so we'll just do that thank you can we build a housing block as well it is pretty workforce expensive but we need houses and we need houses fast food we also desperately desperately need how are we doing over here for this food district good stuff so we can expand this out when we get a second a good amount of food over there that's going to last us for a while do we go for the food or do we go for the wayfinder or do we just do both i think we just do both because we can i do want to come over here towards this wayfinder station we'll need to frost break over there again that's fine we can do that when we get a second okay things going pretty well overall i would say let's have a little look at this economic overlay ah, okay so it's like when we've got the building thing it shows where buildings are there's an inactive building over here because it's still getting built we can see that we've got our materials so we can actually see this is actually really really nice in terms of being able to see where we're using stuff and when we're not heat this shows us where we're using up our heat these kind of areas are using up heat this is where we're gaining our heat from which is from our generator uh we're also getting our coal and our oil 
no that's just our storage there we're getting our coal from these areas over here good stuff all right cool i actually really like that that's uh, a really cool way of showing to uh, all of the kind of stuff going on stockpiles depleted steward the stockpiles materials the captain's gala run out after so many years our resources in the pit are growing barren the current output will satisfy some of the demand but problems will mount over time we must reach for new deposits otherwise the city and us will suffer i see yep no worries we are expanding very very quickly we should got enough prefabs to do us a little bit of time but we shall see crash transport could get more coal let's come back later we don't need it for just now whale mine possible settlement most pods of whale froze here being pursued by humanity's last whaling vessels in a freezing harbor scouts are amazed to sight their massive body to make pale by the ice finally i found my white whale the scout commander jokes no one laughs yes years ago the captain sent a team of machines to bore through the ice and mine out the whale meat we can take the machines back to new london and assist our extraction or send a new team here to finish the job interesting so this will increase how much we're making in new london or we can build a food a food outpost here i want to build uh, yeah i want to mine some whales thank you yeah that's that's a lot of that's a lot of food let's uh, speaking of food let's turn on this fishing village for now because we want to start bringing things over how much will it take now we don't have enough people to do that so we could actually turn this off for now even though i said we just turn this on let's see if we can connect this up and how much it will cost us so we can yeah we can actually connect that perfect let's do that and then we can turn on those guys afterwards so we're doing pretty well when it comes to coal and that's thanks to our resource uh outpost that's sending us lots and lots of coal colder season okay i i i I take those back. I take that back. They they heard what I said. I apologize. Sawmills are done. It's good. We could get charcoal plants. It does give us some coal output for materials. Interesting. Or we can get pyrolytic charcoal plants. They don't give us much. These give us disease. However, we need to start worrying about these kind of things as well. There's an awful lot of things we need to worry about. Eating is doing okay. Food energy. Base heat demand of food districts significantly decreased. Hmm, interesting. I kind of like that. Our heat dispatcher. It does require a lot of workers, and that does increase squalor. Hmm. Could get pump jacks as well. Hydraulic pump jacks. I mean, we are going to need oil. This does increase squalor and does have a very big materials demand. I wonder if we just get the hydraulic one rather than the fracturing one. This does produce more oil, obviously. This one still gives us 80 decisions 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 or we could just say no and we go for something else what can we do about society we do probably want to start thinking about diseases diseases are being a little bit of annoying so we get recovery hospitals or just normal hospitals or teaching hospital interesting so disease is slightly decreased and increases research speed we regularly cure a significant number of sick attendees this one does increase population growth. I do kind of like the idea of getting more population growth. This one doesn't require as much heat, but it does require more people. Mm. We get the teaching hospital, because that will also increase the research speed as well. And we are struggling just a little bit for coal. So, keep that in mind. How are we doing over here? Yep. Got people going. Let's turn this back on. How much do we need to actually build a thing here? We need 20. Oof. Youch. Where are we? So we're using our guys in the coal mine. We're using our guys over here. Okay, so if we turn these off and then come over here, send the colonists now, sending employed workforce districts and buildings in the source city will deactivate. Oh, okay, so we do need more people. Oh, not ideal, but we do also need to go there because we are worryingly low on stuff. I need to get over. Yeah, let's collect the let's collect the coal. We need the coal. We need that little bit of extra stuff. I was like, oh yeah, no, we're fine. We're collecting enough coal on our own. No, we are not. All right, let's get this sawmill up and running. We'll build that out over here. This is taking a lot of heat, and I do not like it. This will reduce the amount of heat that's taken in a fair amount of areas. I'll do three. We build that there. We want to try and reduce as much 
much as we can in terms of the heat requirement. It is using up some workers, but I can deal with that. Uh, it's one of these cool things about these little hubs. 100 workers it does require 25 materials, which we don't have currently, but we are building up our sawmills, so that shouldn't be a problem. Speaking of things that are a problem, our money is a problem, and also people do are not very happy with us, so... Uh, hey, can, can we get some funds off the Faith Keepers? Thank you very much. Hmm. The Evolvers... Very much not happy. We could get a rule. We can get Guard Enforcers and gu Guided Voting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think we're okay for just now. Contagion Prevention. People are divided against the infectious badge. Will decrease disease. Not significantly like the supported quarantine, but I don't like the fact that we'd increase shelter demand. I think we do this, increases tension. Yeah, let's propose it. See if we can negotiate against it. Open to negotiate. New Londoners, right? You guys are gonna vote for it. I'll tell you why. I am gonna get you an advanced uh, coal mine. There we go. Boom. The greatest deal. Vote for me. Thank you very much. Come on, come on. Infectious badge, get it out. Yes. 67-4. Perfect. Pass that law. I see. Excellent. Comes to the recess. We're still researching stuff. We'll have to research that when we get to it. Uh, we're using an awful lot of coal. I wonder if we just turn on the generator ever so quickly into overdrive. We're about to heat up. Yep, there we go. That's massively helped our coal amounts. And we are also making a surplus of materials and food. Would you look at that, everybody? We are actually decent leaders. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have. Because I am an idiot. Uh, we could rush researchers. It'll make really trust us less. Don't really want to do that if we can help it. Can we expand this district out? We can indeed. So let's get ourselves some more houses. If we can. Things are looking pretty decent, although I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that we don't really have enough workers at the moment. Where are we uh, looking around? Did, we, did I actually send somebody out? I can't remember. I think I didn't have quite enough Frostland teams to do it. Okay, well, we are doing all right in coal. We're doing all right in food, and we're definitely doing all right in materials, especially now that we've got that new sawmill. And with the heating hub, we should hopefully be better when it comes to heating as well. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing alright for materials. What happens if we turn off this generator now? From overdrive. Oop, nope, nope. Keep, the, keep, the, keep that on. Keep that on. Yeah, we can keep that on for a little bit. That'd be fine. I'm sure. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, what's the actual cost for this? Ores. Frostland teams bunch of prefabs we don't even have the prefab so we need to stop making goods we need to start making prefabs again ah there we go yeah it's because the distraction district is done let's demolish that up yes please that will get us the prefabs we need but we do also need to start building up some prefabs instead of goods people are not going to be very happy that there's not enough goods but they'll have to just deal with it. that's all i'm gonna say there we go build that up we can use some of those workers we've got a bunch of heat stamps it's the last of our prefab panels as well but we need more goods all right we've managed to finish up hospitals good good stuff good stuff we want to have a little think about what do we promise advanced coal mines and we did say we we're going to get advanced blasting mines which does increase squalor i do like this idea because we do need more coal for when the bad times hit because they will hit. You know, it's Frostpunk. You know what's going to happen. So let's just see how we do. Give a little speed up. There we go. We've got our goods. Not many goods, it must be said. Do we have anything else that we can use? No, just housing blocks. Not ideal. But we could get ourselves a teaching hospital, which I don't think is a bad idea. So we'll do that. And that should deal. We're not doing too bad with diseases now, and it is diminishing. Squalor is a little bit not great, but it's only minor, so we'll be fine. Nothing to worry about there. Alrighty, let us turn off the food. Turn off the coal. Things about to heat up. Send the colonists. There we go. People are not going to be very happy because there's not going to be enough people to work. 
in all of these places, but we will just have to make do. Yep, the wood there isn't great. We're not producing quite enough food, but that's fine. Send that colony out and get them working, please, and thank you, sooner rather than later. The generator is still on, and that's fine. Let's get them working. Population should grow fairly shortly. We have enough shelter, which is good. One thing we might struggle with is food. Was it running run low? Coal is running out. Stuart, some of the coal deposits in this district soon run out. The Faith Keepers and the New Londoners believe they can use explosives to access deeper veins of coal. The Frostlanders say we should send children for mist ore in the tire tunnels. Some did this as kids themselves in the abandoned mine outposts, and they survived unscathed. Should we support any of these, these ideas to extend the deposit? I mean, laying explosives will increase the deposit by 10%. Or we can use children. I mean, using children in small, narrow tunnels to get coal. I mean, that sounds the most frostbunk thing ever. Of course we're doing that. Absolutely horrific. But is there ever a more frostbunk thing to do? Yeah, it's sending kids in to pick coal up with their bare hands. And that's what they're going to do. We're not even going to give them pickaxes. There's not enough space. Uh, I suppose what we should do is we could get harvesting funerals. Or we could bury people, which I guess the faith keepers would be happier with. This does increase research speed and disease is slightly decreased. And the evolvers do like it, and we do want to get the evolvers back on site a little bit. Say to the Frostlanders, hey, you guys want to help us? And we will get you... Could we get you a salvaging factory? Yes, does increase disease, but that's what we've got hospitals for. Yes, let's do it. All right, vote, please. Thank you. Harvesting funerals. Let's see how we do. 48.4. Ah, there we go. Just past 51. Squeaking on pie. 63. Very good. I see. Excellent. So, it's going to increase our research speed ever so slightly, which is always nice. I am a little bit concerned by how few workers we have. That's okay. How are we doing for our people here? We're going to deactivate this extraction. We don't need everybody working there. We have enough extraction stuff going at the moment. This one here, this is our important one. That's the one where we actually have the wood. What about over here? Yeah, we can bring you down ever so slightly. Just to make sure that we have enough of the food district. Speaking of the food, we don't actually have any research there for anything to do with food. Not great. Yeah, we probably want to do that at some point. But fortunately, things are about to get a little bit hotter. So we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, let's actually just start rushing the researchers. Ah, perfect. Yes, yeah, so we've got a... One, we got an achievement there for doing a bunch of research. And two, we managed to get some stuff there. Can we get these guys all to come back? No, we need a new and stable source of heat. So we guess we can get that after the oil is done. After we get our new colony up. And once we have our colony up, we'll be able to do that. Warmer season, there we go. Heat demand is decreased. Perfect. New London's demands met. They're delighted that we kept our word. Perfect. All right, so we managed to get the advanced coal blasting mine done. Now, we get factories done, but maybe we want to get hot houses because we can get a bio waste hot house. Disease we don't care about. We got hospitals. Just to increase our food output. I think that's a good idea. Pretty cheap. Does require workers, but we've got a decent number of workers to be honest. Yeah, let's increase the efficiency on you. You're full efficiency, good. You are okay. What about you? Yeah, hey, you work, please. Thank you. We're not that poor for workers. Thank you very much. You work as well. You work as well. We need to make sure that we've got all of these housing districts working. Thank you. As well as you in the hospital. So we've got a surplus of people there. Fire in the shaft. Coal is running out. Stuart, a fire is broken out in a coal mine. If we don't react, we'll lose the mine along with the deposit. Some of the faith keepers engage in the rescue effort. It says we can still save the mine by cutting off the air supply in the shaft and suffocating its flames. But then some of the children miners are still making their way out. Okay, yes, we'll let the coal... Yes, that's fine. We'll get the kids out. Okay, yes, yes. As always, oh yeah, send the kids down the mine and then there's gonna, they're all going to die. Okay, Frostpunk, there we go. Alright, is this generator still in overdrive is the big question. It is indeed, and it's getting stressed. I do not like that. 
We've still got stockpiles, but we're running out. We're just nearly there with the colonization, which is good. We do need to colonize that sooner rather than later, please. As far as this extraction goes, we're doing okay. Can we just turn you off? Yes, so we've got a little bit of stockpile material, so I'm not too worried about that. Let us... That food district's got a housing block in it. Can we expand you out? Yes, we can. And we can even get you into just a little bit more food. Thank you. And we can build a hothouse in there too. And that should help just ever so slightly. Frostliners aren't too happy with us. The council can do a law, so let's do that. Uh, what can we do? Get community service. Exploration time decreased. We produce small prefabs. Or heat demand increase, or heat demand is decreased. We would do this. We don't want to use as much coal as we're using. So let's just try and negotiate where we can. Hey, new Londoners, you like us? Uh, research and hold a vote for heat overclocking. The excess heat produced by the industrial machines will be reinjected back into the machines to allow them to operate at full capacity. I do like that. Let's do that. They'll support the law. Get us some heat, so everybody can just watch pipes and uh, wait for the paint to dry in this cold, cold weather. There we go. The law is passed. I see. Let's do it. Fantastic. All right. Good job, guys. So our coal stockpile is going down. I wonder what happens if we turn off the generator. I'm really not looking forward to this, but we have to. It's already at 74%. Yep. We're digging through the amount of coal that we have. Could we build another... We could build an advanced one, but we are running out. Yes, let's do it. We're running out of our number of workforces, but I think we just have to. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Oil deposits discovered. Cool. Virgin Visions of our future diverging ideas. Steward, everyone in New London is awaiting the moment we get a steady supply of oil. So many fears would vanish, so many dreams made possible. Those dreams can be better. Virgin Faith Keepers paint visions of an internally warm New London. As warm as only the eldest among us remember, but Evolvers want to receive this newfound power to reach out and settle remote places in the Frostland, making it our own. Uh, they both start thinking about how to use the oil when it reaches New London. When it does, we will have to decide. I see. Oh, okay, so we're... Ah, when it said we're making a colony, actually, yeah, we can build here. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I wasn't expecting that, and I do like that. That's really cool. All right, let's uh, break our way towards this oil. Good stuff. Yep. Uh, and we can build an extraction place here for some of these abandoned huts. I didn't realize I was covered over. That's my mistake, but never mind. Yeah, we'll do that here so we can just get as much of that as we can. And we do not have enough for a housing district. That's A-OK. -okay. All right, let's send out our guys. Let's get ourselves some more food and let's get some more coal just while we've got a second. Right, how are we doing over here, guys? Not too shabby. We could be doing a little bit better when it comes to materials, and our food stockpiles are looking much better, so we can bring somebody off here. Let's bring up our industrial district. Good stuff. Yep, you guys are both okay. And our extraction is doing okay as well. There we go. Okay, we've got a nice big surplus of everything including food. Can we do anything to expand our logistics? We can, but we need research and we also need research because we need to we said we're going to get waste heat conversion as well as these factories here. Yep, yeah, let's research this. Get that done. Because we did we did say we were going to do that, so we're going to have to do that. Just takes us a little while in terms of the weeks. I am really, really excited by the fact that you actually build the, uh, the colonies. I was not expecting that and it looks really cool. Uh, Lucy Fairweather, afraid the coal left the mine collapsed. I'm tired people treat me like a baby. I knew it was risky working in the mine, but I chose because my grandma froze to death, my mum froze to death, my brother lost his hands. So if I die in a hole, stoking the fire, if I save one family from seeing the ice in their mum's face, then it'd be worth it. See, no one asked me that the coal burn, and now it's getting proper cold again. So it will need even more fuel when the temperature drops. I know, I know. We're sorting it out. Don't worry. All right, so... We still have five people. What can we do with this? We can't do anything here because we don't know how to use it yet. The generator is also disabled. All right, we don't have enough heat stamps. Can we get nothing off these colonists? Okay, so there's no community over here. These guys just work. There's nothing to worry about. You guys over here that actually like us somewhat. Can you guys give me some money, please? Just a quick loan. Just a small loan, please. Anybody give me a small loan? Hey, there we go. Yeah, give me, give me a loan. 
China already. Nope. Okay. Okay, so we've managed to get this. Let's get this extraction of this oil place done. Fantastic. At least then we can set that generator to be on. Uh, right, where else can we build? Uh, let's actually get this out here. We can get a couple of houses here as well. We're going to need them. All those people there and barely a job to work. Okay, I'm really not happy. These resource deposits are nearly done. Fortunately, our stockpile is pretty large, but... Hmm, we're going to have to work a bit quicker, I think. How are you guys doing for food and that? You're not. Is, is the uh, accurate way to say that. Okay, good to know. Uh, there is other, another area over here that we could use. There's lots and lots of oil. And that is it. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so there's lots of oil there, but that's about all we're getting from that. What can we go over here? We could get a hot house to increase our number of food. Our food is fine. Our goods are okay. And our coal is massively increasing. I guess that's because uh, people are a little bit happier. Can we do anything to help us out? I do kind of want to build up another logistics depot. A little bit low on funds, but I think we do need the Frostland teams. Yeah, let's do it. You can always go and beg for more money in the future if we need to. Frostlanders demands men. Yeah, exactly. I told you guys I'd do it, and there's nothing to worry about. I'm a good guy. I keep my word. All right, let's... Uh, I guess we have prefabs as part of our kind of global bit here. So we've got oil. A... Cool. So we have oil. So what do we do now? Resource transfer. So we're currently making a whole bunch of oil, and we want to give... As much as we can over to New London. Let's see. These guys are alright for that. Could give them a little bit of coal. Do we need to? I mean we haven't turned on the generator. Let's uh let's actually turn on the generator first. That's probably a good idea. There we go. Okay, so we've turned on the generator. There's enough heat. Let's uh now go to resource transfer and we're gonna say, hey, move as much as you can over to New London. Cool. And then these guys here, we're going to say, hey, give them as much resources as they need. And they should be happy. They're all right for food. We can give them a little bit of goods as well. Just to keep people happy, make them all right. And we can always just increase production in the main city. All right, transfer those resources. Transfer at least 75 oil output. So how much oil are we outputting? 66. So we need to actually get another oil deposit. I see. Okay, let us start working towards this one over here then. And we can get that next time. It's gonna... So I can we research? No, we can't research the generator upgrades yet. Okay. Good to know. We can upgrade our hubs. We can get work compensation maintenance duty. We do all do maintenance. Unproductive do maintenance. I don't like the idea of that actually. That's quite a good idea. Unproductive do maintenance, so if people aren't uh, doing things, they can get do the maintenance, and they can at least get they'll get their uh, money for that as well. So they surely they'll be happy. Waste heat conversion—that's what we're going to do. So we were going to do our heat overclocking to increase our production efficiency. Let's get it done because we need to do that. We have lots and lots of coal, which is good, and we're getting our oil coming in as well. What are you saying? Ouch, my finger. These fucking spindles. Mr. Falsley keeps joking I'll fall asleep and get woken up by a prince. I don't get it. If a prince came near me, I'd rob him blind and make him do the bloody spinning. It's all right. Gonna beat my record today. Nice strong yarn. Auntie Mabel says if I can weave, I can work with her. At the mill beats freezing in the street. Family friendship promise a better future for children in the city. I hope so. It's better than them just stabbing each other as they were before. So let's hope they keep it up. Right, let's get this extraction place over here. And we've also increased our population again. Fantastic. So, we're all right for coal. We're doing all right for every resource except for goods. So, we did build a factory. So, we will get that as soon as we get the heat stamps. Or, if somebody is happy to... Uh... Oh, you love the new Londoners. Look at them go. Absolutely fantastic. Give us the money. 
All right, we're going to use these to build a bunch more goods. This food district has been turned off as well. Let's get that set on up. So we've got a food stockpile coming up. That is good. Badge of shame. No contagion prevention. Sure, the disease is currently under control. More and more citizens resent being forced to wear unwarranted infectious badges. I, I've got the clap, but I ain't spreading that one to no one by just breathing. With this blasting thing pin on, everyone runs to the side of me like I'm a goddamn leper. A mixed coalition of delegates agrees the complaints as draft together a new law which should deregulate their issues of contagion together. I see no reason to put that on. I mean, it's the same reason why they say you can't uh, drink with antibiotics. It's so uh, you don't get drunk and then pass on the clap. You know? But hey ho, let's not think about that. We've got some laws that we could pass. Let's see, there's a city law of some kind. Oh, it kind of said that there was a new one. I guess it was the heat pipe one, unless we want to do the no contagion prevention to reduce tension. Uh, I think we're okay for just now. I think we're quite happy with these laws. There's no survival laws that we can do in society. No, society. Uh, should we get guided voting? I think everybody's against it. Okay, yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, people are not that happy with us, I guess, because we keep just asking them for money. So... Let's not do that. You know what, Evolvers? Just so you uh, are happy, we'll grant you an agenda. We're not planning on doing anything at the moment. No contagion prevention. People are divided. We'll just let them vote. If they pass it, they pass it. I'm not that bothered about it. You know, we're for the people here. Let's just see what happens. Not nah, see, there you go. You want to see if somebody's got the clap. There we are. But that should hopefully improve our relationship ever so slightly with them, so always good how are we doing for housing yeah we're doing all right for housing that's nice good to see how are we doing for frosting teams we've got five uh can we connect up the trails here no that needs 10 can we we could escort some willing people i think we just leave them there just for a little bit longer let's come back over here and we'll extract this oil as soon as we get a second yep so let's build that on out and we can just crack that open and get some more oil and we can send some more over as well new londoners demands have been met yes heat overclocking i told you again everybody seems to be surprised i'm actually you know keeping my uh my word but i told you i'm a nice guy honest okay so let's have a little think about what we need so could get heat dispatchers food energy efficiency geothermal plants interesting pump jacks pump jacks probably exactly what we needed material demands or less workforce. Probably less workforce is probably a better idea. It does require more materials, but we can send materials over. People probably a little bit harder to do. Yeah, we've only got 600 people over here. And even then, they're out of houses. So we do actually need to build some houses over here as well as the extraction place. So let's do that. Over here in New London. Oh, oh dear. So our first of our coal plants is done. All right, let's uh, demolish that. There's no point in keeping this about. Yep, just get rid of it. This place is working away and it's working slower. So we really need to get that oil done as soon as possible. How are we doing over here? All right, as soon as that's done, let's get this extracted, please. Thank you very much. I guess we could always do an emergency shift. Actually, now I think about it. Yes. Probably a better idea. Sorry, boys. We need you to work double time because we need to send even more oil over to London. Oh, we didn't actually transfer. My bad. So, yeah. Transfer resources. Uh, new fuel flows. Anticipation fills the air as the first transport oil sent to New London to dream a future without feeling cold. Feels surreal. To make it happen, however, we need to modify the generator to turn this black gold into heat. This will be irreversible. What future we build for ourselves will depend on it. We must decide. A okay, saving. Ooh, cutscene. What do we want to do? Chapter 2. Ambitions. Okay. Very cool. I like the look of it. Ambitions, chapter 2. People cheer for oil as it reaches our city, but the question remains what it means for our future. The years of suffering are coming to an end, their leaders shout across the city's squares. With the gift of oil and light of the furnace, we can defeat the frost and build a warm paradise. Let us improve the blessed machine. 
blessed engine and pump oil until the snows of the city melt forever. However, the evolvers disagree. The frost is our reality. What Faithkeeper's lecture is not only foolish, it is hubris. We can't wait for New London's generator to rust. We have to adapt to this world, settle and repopulate the Frostland. So, will we defeat the Frost? Faithkeepers will prove the decision, Evolvers disapprove the decision. Unlocks oil pumps, generate upgrades that uses only oil. Unlocks ability to exploit unlimited deep deposits. Or, we will embrace the, f the Frost. Adaptive pumps that use any fuel. Unlocks unlimited output. Frostland settlements. I think we will defeat the frost. Yes. The old captain said I was right. The faith keepers were there to protect us, and now we have a new paradise. Listen, I'll get you. Makes that a bit more cold. Defeat the frost. We need first need to upgrade the generator with oil pumps so you use the new fuel. Then we must research and further upgrade the generator with surplus injectors to make New London warmer than ever. Newfound oil can also help us to reach previously inaccessible deep deposits which will not run out. We may tap into them for the security of the city. Oil pumps generate upgrade is unlocked and available to be built and melting deep deposits and generator upgrades. Research are unlocked. I see. Excellent. All right, well, I perfect. So I think that was the end of the first chapter, so I think we'll call that there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying this. I've been really enjoying Frostpunk so far. And even though this is a little bit longer episode than what we usually have, it's been really good fun. I have been enjoying it. But uh, yeah, no, if you like what we do in the channel, consider becoming a member or joining one of the Burger Band for additional benefits, like, for example, being able to see this video as soon as it's uploaded, rather than when it's scheduled to release, and also just to help us out a little bit. Everything is appreciated, uh, but you don't feel like you have to do that if you do not want to. The main thing is, thank you very much for watching. Definitely appreciate it, especially when it comes to newer videos like this. And uh, yeah, no, until the next time, take care.